Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salamat malam and g'day. <laughs> Uh, so we've visited three main cities, so currently in Jakarta, we've visited Jog Jakarta and Bandung, um, and we've visited a range of different organizations, um, uh, so Mohammedia, NU, um, Muslim movements, trying to preserve the faith but also be progressive, um, universities, uh, Islamic universities, Pazantrans, so Islamic boarding schools, uh, NGOs, temples, mosques, uh, museums, a whole variety of things, meeting amazing people, uh, learning different things. We get to talk about our experiences in Australia being, uh, I guess, a minority religion in Australia. It's obviously a, a majority in Indonesia, but just our experience in Australia and how we find Indonesia. A lot of organisations and a lot of people that are doing great work and have inspired us, so when we go back to Melbourne we can, uh, you know, do something, uh, you know, for the Muslim community. This is a program that was uh, started about 10 years ago specifically to recognize that uh, religion is an important part of the culture of both countries actually and often people in the one country don't really know enough about that cultural, that part of cultural life in the other country. The reality of Islam in Indonesia is that it's extremely diverse um, and that there is not one way that a Muslim will practice Islam. Um, there seems to be various ways, mixed with culture as well. Um, but the beautiful thing about it is that, you know, everyone's striving to uh, please God, to worship God in their own ways uh, and not enforce their own opinions on others. Yeah, Islam in Indonesia, I guess the word they like to use is plural, but um, I think it's, it's, it's practiced in the right way in Indonesia. It's very peaceful. It, it, it's, it's got a space for other religions. Um, I think it's a very good example of Islam in practice in, in the world today. I've toured Saudi Arabia, I've been to Hajj before, and I thought it'd be more Islamic. And to come here and uh, realise uh, there's six recognised religions, but you know, so many more. And you know, looking outside of my hotel room, there's a big massive church with you know, a, a big graveyard full of, you know, Christian graves, you know, that's something I wouldn't have expected. Uh, I went to Australia in 2005. Uh, I did, you know, a visit to several NGO as well as the government institution. And I found it very interesting to, you know, to see the diversity in Australia because uh, it surprised me because uh, when I was in Australia, I found out that Islam community, Muslim community, Jewish community and Christian community, they are working together and sort of uh, overcoming the problem, the issues about the tolerance, about the pluralism, sort of like that. We look for people who have an interest in learning about the world and then 10 Indonesians per year and uh, five Australians per year, pretty much balanced by gender, uh, to experience the religious cultural life uh, and in all its diversity uh, of the other country. But also people who have a network in their own community that they can use to share their experiences more widely. I am helping to manage a microfinance program in Victoria at the moment and just being able to talk to, to people that are doing the same thing in Indonesia has sort of broadened my horizon. I hope to take that back and you know, implement some of the ideas back in Australia and make it better. I work as a community coordinator for Football United, which is a sports for social development organisation working with uh, refugee young people. I also work with the Islamic Egyptian Society, but I also um, try and empower uh, Muslim women through sports. So we run um, female-only sporting activities and soccer tournaments as well, trying to engage them through sport but in a culturally appropriate environment. I actually teach uh, Islam in a government state school. It's pretty uh, like it was first introduced by Arkan Toledo, a non-profit organisation. And Islam, or the Muslim community, wasn't aware that we could actually teach Islam in schools. But we have all uh, religious denominations teaching in schools. And I was actually the first one in Victoria to teach at a non-Islamic school this year. Um, it'll help me work with um, the Muslim community in Australia, I think, a lot better. Um, just 
from a personal perspective, just understanding that you know there are also Muslims in Australia that practice the religion differently and be, keeping an open mind uh, and just engaging even with the Indonesian community in Australia a bit better as well. Yeah, it's it's funny actually. Um, when I went to Australia, I met uh, Muslim NGOs and as well as uh, Jewish community and Christian community. But uh, there was uh, a Jewish community who sent me uh, email regularly and up, up until now, and I found out that uh, the activity is quite inspiring because when I see the the Jewish uh, and Muslim community, especially their mother and their women too, and they they come up with the with how to you know take an action to bridge the the differences to acknowledge each other to respect each other and it sort of uh, give me ins you know inspiration to adopt and perhaps modify a little bit and you know put it in practice to to my work field i know the people that i've traveled with uh, this you know week and a half that i'll remain friends with them forever and it's just those networks are uh, the indonesians that i've met um, in in the week and a half. I have no doubt that I'll maintain contact with them. This is an opportunity that uh, in, you know, any Muslim Australian should take up because you learn so much about yourself, about your own faith, about um, the country with uh, you know, the biggest Muslim population, how they uh, react to certain situations, differences of opinions, and there's so much that we can learn from it. You know. Yes, absolutely. I'd recommend it to, to anyone that's interested in, in Islam or in Indonesia. It's just a, a fantastic program. Uh, best piece of advice would be to, um, it's, it's very hectic, but uh, very rewarding at the same time. So be prepared. Um, yeah, learn a little bit more about the Indonesian culture, I guess, and, and the politics. Uh, just have a great time.